Welcome to, The Size of the Universe 3, by The Person from Earth Productions. I'm Eric, and I'll be showing you the sheer size of various objects in space, from asteroids, to galaxies. On this video, I'll be your host, telling you little bits of information of various objects you may not have heard of. We will start with the planets, working up to the larger things in space. Enjoy! As usual we will start with the planets and small objects such as asteroids, and even continents like America. Here we have the first set, 433 Ross, and 4179 Tototus which is a lot smaller as seen. Moving on, we see a much bigger asteroid we call 2060 Chiron. It's 1,399,185,000 miles from Earth. The next step reveals Pluto's moon Charon, next to an asteroid what is wider. I think that's it for asteroids, how about the planets? You can now clearly see that 50,000 core is dwarfed by even the small planets in our solar system. Here, you see that North America is wider than the diameter of the Moon, but the Moon's land mass is larger. This is Asia, the largest continent on Earth, which is proven to be wider than planet Mercury. I think I'll stop talking for a while, I mean, you get the idea. Don't you? The largest object here, is in fact the largest known planet, TRES-4. It's larger than brown dwarf stars such as the one shown. This shows the smaller stars of the universe, the biggest being TRES-4, parent star, which is just bigger than Sirius A. Here is Pollux, and a few smaller stars, much bigger than the last collection. The largest star here is the famous Satakaran, without its surrounding nebula for convenience. WOHG 64 is the second largest star known, and dwarfs all the shown stars. And finally for the stars, is VY Canis Majoris which is the largest star known. Of course that's not hard to realize seeing there's a big notice underneath the star. You're about to see this huge star to our own sun. You look at this, yet when you look up at the sky, it's hardly visible because of its distance from us. When telescopes view this star, it's 5,000 years old. Because its light takes that time to reach us. Some think the star has already exploded, and in a few thousand years, we'll see the biggest supernova ever seen. For now, we'll have to wait for our technology to increase to a point that reaching 5,000 light years from Earth in a human lifetime, is possible. Hopefully, that day will come. It's time to look at the bigger things in the universe. Nebula As you can see, Eticaran Nebula, dwarfs Vy Canis Majoris and it is classed as a dwarf itself. This is what I mean by dwarf. Although 8 burst, was proven bigger than Eticaran Nebula, it is smaller than a lot of others. Planetary Nebula 164 has been recently discovered thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope.
Crab Nebula is among the most famous nebula known, as it is recent from about 200 years ago. Here is bigger nebula, Orion, and Trifid, biggest being Trifid at 38 light years across. This shows Horsehead at MGC 2023. Horsehead got its name because of the horsehead shaped object in the middle of the nebula. Here is the Eagle Nebula, and RCW 79 Nebula. Eagle Nebula is probably the most famous nebula to mankind as it contains the famous pillars of the creation at the center. When nebulae reach their height, they are always little in space. These globular clusters show that. Although globular clusters dwarf RCW, even a dwarf galaxy is much larger than any globular cluster. You can see that here. Now on to the biggest things. Galaxies. Sagittarius DSPH is as high as Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, but much wider. The large and small Magellanic clouds are satellite galaxies to our own. Here is the Sombrero Galaxy. It's called that because it's supposed to look like a sombrero, but it doesn't to me. I forgot to add a black eye galaxy on the last image because it is smaller than the Sombrero Galaxy. Sorry about that. This image shows the Pinwheel Galaxy, and Andromeda, or M31. Both of them are bigger than our Milky Way. Here is two more distant and bigger galaxies. This is the mighty IC 1101. It is the largest celestial object known to man, apart from galactic clusters. This galaxy is big enough to engulf all of the objects you have seen on this video. And it's a whopping 5 million light years across. Notice NGC 5820 what you've not seen at the bottom left. This is the universe what we know of. The membrane, as some call it. It has that name because it has a cell wall look to it. And some think the universe is in the shape of a brain. But no one knows. The square is where we are apparently located in the cosmos. That square is highlighting approximately 2 billion galaxies. That in itself, is vast. Remember. In a solar system, there's planets. In a galaxy, there's stars. In galactic clusters, there's galaxies. And in time, there's universes.